Hi yo. Welcome to our club. So, hoo ha hoo, I built a magic fountain for the encounter 10 by 10. Challenge June. Entry. And this video. I forgot to film a lot, but I still want to show it to you what I got on camera. <laughs> Today is not so really hot, but it's so humid today. Oh, it's it's uh, it's stressing me out. Okay, now this would be the base, so this goes here. Yeah. Okay, so this is really heavy. I will screw this from underneath and then weigh it down with some plaster maybe, I don't know. First step done. Oh yeah, and here is, uh, this is, came out pretty good. The shells.
Okie dokie. A friend uh, gave me this uh, telescope thingy, not telescope, I don't know what it's called, lamp. Um, didn't want it anymore. It's cool, I like it. I forgot to film something. So what happened? Uh, it looks like this now. So after the big uh, stem was dry, I cut up some small twigs. It's a magnolia tree. They got those really funky bubbles in the where the next branch comes out. It's an old thing with um, some lead, lead lichen on it. So I glued this stuff with. Um, with some construction adhesive, which does not melt um, styrofoam. I, I um, uh, glued the branches on there, on the big stem. Then uh, I used some air dry clay to fill in the nasty gaps. Um, after that, uh, it had to dry. This morning I put on a black wash and now in some after drying again I put on some basic colors on this white gray washed thing because I did not like it so this has to dry again and then I will go in with some more washes and um, then that's it I guess um, for the tree building sometimes I I just uh, forget that I want to do a video <laughs> come on son I don't know. This thing in there sometimes is uh, taking a nap during daytime. So the tree grew really fast and lifted up this thing. And this will go on top here. Oops, we'll go on top here for the. This is the magic fountain. So the water will drop out here into here. And now that it's lifted, it will flow out here a little bit. So I'm thinking of green. But I don't want to have um, like leaves on here, more like a swamp thing, like vines hanging down and moss and stuff like that. It should be a, yeah, the tree itself has no leaves. I don't want that. I don't know why, I just don't want it. So I'm thinking of this sea cell grass and moss to make something like this a little bit not as much but a little bit i like the hangers and a little bit of this let's see 
how we can or maybe we do some hangers first and then maybe some <laughs> beep beep it doesn't work it does not work it's the wrong material beep I make the wrong mood. Um, usually when I when I uh, when I when there's problems, I just deal with them. But today doesn't work. <laughs> so sometimes from the outside it all looks really easy and bam 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 and stuff but it is not it is hard work constantly fighting issues I don't want I don't like the word problem it's, it's not a problem it's like it's more like a small encounter I have to handle in crafting and building but um, today I'm got no endurance so I will stop here and uh, try later <laughs> okay now it happened um, I worked through the phase and um, I forgot to film everything so I show you the finished uh, product the finished uh, piece of terrain and try to explain okay so now this thing here is floating in the air with some water effect and the water is dripping down into the shell and dripping down here and we've got some moss and stuff and I even built some small Podest where it's on and the roots are pushing out the stones for the water effect um, This thing here has got this uh, acrylic Rod transparent rod and um, So it is strong enough to hold this But only the rod itself would look too clean. So I used some some of this stuff it's a transparent thick acrylic medium I always use it um, and just rubbed it onto the rod so it's getting a little bit more uh, organic thing I glued the rod to this to the lower and the upper shell with a hot glue gun when that was cold uh, I put the acrylic medium on top here and also in here a little bit of white stuff uh, white color for foam and those hangers are also um, hot glue things uh, on a baking paper and then glued onto here and then on top again the acrylic medium then to the greenery it's um, really fine flock sift flock homemade flock from sawdust this bushy stuff is coarse uh, ground Block this foamy stuff uh, you can buy it from the railroad modelers the hangers here the thick ones uh, is a rope I took apart some time ago and the thin one also there's this it's this stuff it's uh, the inside of a rope here are those and then it's also got this stuff here around it and yeah just taking it apart gluing it oops on there and then uh, some green color and some wash and stuff also here this uh, the, f the foam the the coarse flocking thing um, and then also some fine sawdust flock that's it here this is um, xps and then uh, some bricks on there so um, yeah leftovers from the pyramid then some some uh, wood sticks and some broken tiles and some also the foamy flock and the sawdust flock really basic like I always do 
so it fits together. Then um, I had this broken thing here, but now this doesn't stand here really good. So for the photo, I had to, I have to think of something. I had to level this out like this. Um, so I, I wanted to have it separate so I can use like this or like this. Okay, now it's standing better. Yeah, so sorry again for the, <laughs> For the not filming, I'm sorry. A uh, little bit stupid of my of me. Mm. Yeah, but I'm really proud of it. It looks cool. It's a big thing. Um, the, this gold on the shells worked really cool, really nice. A little bit kitsch, uh, but I like it. Why not? And it's big and it's a massive centerpiece objective marker. Base is about six, uh, seven by six centimeters. Yeah. Okay, you know the drill. Subscribe, like, write a comment, ask some questions. And if you like the stuff, support the channel, make me happy, <laughs> give me that good feeling. Thanks to my Patreons and uh, all the people who sent me uh, stuff from the Amazon wish list. Thanks, it's highly appreciated. Now, lights out, go craft something yourself. See ya! <laughs>